morning prayer for Thursday the 11th of March. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Hear our voice, O Lord, according to your faithful love, according to your judgment, give us life. O God, you summon the day to dawn. You teach the morning to waken the earth. Great is your name, great is your love. For you the valleys shall sing for joy, the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Great is your name, great is your love. For you, your love and mercy shall last for ever, fresh as the morning, sure as the sunrise. Great is your name, great is your love. Our Old Testament reading is from Jeremiah. God's message that came to Jeremiah regarding the drought. Judah weeps, her cities mourn. The people fall to the ground, moaning, while sounds of Jerusalem's sobs rise up, up. The rich people sent their servants for water. They went to the cisterns, but the cisterns were dry. They came back with empty buckets, wringing their hands, shaking their heads. All the farm work has stopped. Not a drop of rain has fallen. The farmers don't know what to do. They wring their hands, they shake their heads. Even the doe abandons her fawn in the field because there is no grass eyes glazed over on her last legs, nothing but skin and bones. We know we're guilty. Please do something, God. Our New Testament reading is from John's Gospel. Chapter 8 Then Jesus said to the Jews who had believed in him, If you continue in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will make you free. They answered him, We're descendants of Abraham and have never been slaves to anyone. What do you mean by saying you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Very truly, I tell you, everyone who commits sin is a slave to sin. The slave does not have a permanent place in the household. The son has a place there forever. So if the son makes you free, you will be free indeed. I know that you're descendants of Abraham. Yet you look for an opportunity to kill me, because there is no place in you for my word. I declare what I have seen in the Father's presence. As for you, you should do what you've heard from the Father. They answered him, Abraham is our father. Jesus said to them, If you were Abraham's children, you would be doing what Abraham did. But now you're trying to kill me, a man who's told you the truth that I heard from God. This is not what Abraham did. You are indeed doing what your father does. They said to him, We're not illegitimate children. We have one father, God himself. Jesus said to them, If God were your father, you would love me. For I came from God, and now I am here. I did not come on my own, but he sent me. Why do you not understand what I say? It is because you cannot accept my word. You are from your father, the devil, and you choose to do your father's desire. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he lies, he speaks according to his own nature, for he is a liar and the father of lies. lies. But because I tell the truth, you do not believe me. Which of you convicts me of sin? 
If I tell the truth, why do you not believe me? Whoever is from God hears the words of God. The reason you do not hear them is that you are not from God. A Responsory To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. You are the God of my salvation. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. In you I hope all the day long. O my God, in you I trust. Remember, Lord, your compassion and love, for they are from everlasting. To you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. O my God, in you I trust. The Gospel Canticle, the Benedictus. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Let us pray. In the passage from Jeremiah, the description of severe drought sounds like swathes of our world today. In Jeremiah's world, people interpreted drought as a direct punishment from God. Today, we would understand that the human race has acted in ignorance and greed. So we pray. God of all creation, forgive our foolish ways. Enthuse us with a desire to combat climate change, wherever we are, whoever we are. May our churches embrace leadership in environmental concerns. We give thanks for the exquisite beauty of the area of the Stroud Valleys in which we live, for the nourishment of nature during times of lockdown. We give thanks for organisations like the Gloucester Wildlife Trust, informing and inspiring us. We pray for drought-ravaged areas of the earth, for frantic people, for migrants and refugees, for aid agencies. We pray for our gardens, the earth we walk on today the air we breathe. May we bless 
and be blessed. We give thanks for Jesus' courage to stand up for truth in debate at the cost of his own safety. Please inspire us with the courage to speak up for what we believe is true and good and just. Almighty and everlasting God, you hate nothing that you have made and forgive the sins of all those who are penitent. Create and make in us new and contrite hearts, that we, worthily lamenting our sins and acknowledging our wretchedness, may receive from you the God of all mercy, perfect remission and forgiveness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Trusting in the compassion of God, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. May God, our Redeemer, show us compassion and love. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.